In this video, I'll be explaining the seven stages of a spiritual awakening. Do you want to know in what stage you are? Watch this video to find out. Hi, my name is Heidi, and today I'll be explaining the seven stages of a spiritual awakening. To stay up to date with my work and our videos, subscribe to this channel. So where is the importance for your audience to know about the seven stages of awakening? Why would you like to share that information with them? The reason why I like to share the information is so that we can ascend to basically who we are and remembering exactly who we are. Because I feel that planet Earth feels that it, it's like another human being, another living creature. It feels everything that we go through. It knows everything that happens within itself. So this is extremely important. And I think in one of these steps, and actually a few steps, you can become extremely stuck, with, stuck within yourself. And when you understand this process, you blossom and you bloom like a butterfly. And in that process, just think of the millions of people throughout our world if that is happening, we all be start to become one. And then the earth ascends and creates in a better environment um, within itself and also within the universe around. So what is your opinion on the topic, the new earth, the event, the ascension, about what people may be misconceived, what they may be miss? What could you tell them? Mm -hmm. Well, what I feel is that people want to see what's on the outside, what's going to happen, how to prepare for it, what to expect. And they have all these things going through their mind when really it's within ourselves and finding ourselves internally um, of remembering who we are and not getting lost in all of this. So to answer your question, it's not what's on the outside what's on the inside and once we develop that and create that within ourselves it all blossoms so when I was in my hypnosis session in the beginning of that um, session there was all different forms and shapes of these cocoons and what I realized is it was the caterpillar creating its own little space resting phase cocoons phase or stage or whatever it is to become a beautiful butterfly. Thousands of, of them everywhere and just a few butterflies flying around. And so what I thought and what I was feeling is that this is what's happening right now. Everybody is in this cocoon stage. The majority of people out there, and there's different, different stages, but they, and you see this more and more of people meditating, doing yoga being centered within themselves. And right now, there's a few butterflies that have already ascended or developed, and they are teachers. And they are connecting with the higher divine, whatever that would be. And then they are creating as well through this cocoon phase of interacting on a telepathic level as well. So it's all connection, and once that cocoon is is um, is uh, released or that caterpillar is released into this beautiful butterfly we're becoming a creation of who we are so this is what's happening with the earth what is the first stage of spiritual awakening what can you say about it well, the first stage of a spiritual awakening is called the beginning stage. Okay, in order to for someone to go through an awakening, they have to experience two things that happen within their life. And those two things are a traumatic experience or a dramatic experience or event. Okay, when I say traumatic, I'm talking about a death of a loved one or a child, a suicide of a loved one, um, a life threatening illness divorce, a separation of a relationship, um, abuse, anything traumatic um, would be one of the 
two things that happened in the beginning stage. For a dramatic experience, it would be something like a near-death experience, out-of-body experience, maybe experiencing a healing session or a modality, maybe Reiki or some type of pranic healing, um, kind of an awakening within that, a past life regression, a twin flame connection, and also this probably goes more for a child of not belonging to or feeling of being here on this earth or maybe seeing or feeling things as well. So those are the two um, the two things that have to happen in the beginning stage to a spiritual awakening. So after the first stage, the beginning, mm -hmm. what happens next? Well, the next stage is called the alone stage, and this is what you would call the dark night of the soul. Um, this can also be victim mode stage. So it's basically when the spider bites you. So like in Superman, you know, he Clark Kent gets bitten, and you feel different. There's something about you that you just don't know. You can't pinpoint what it is. Um, but your emotions start to go up and down, you're happy, you're sad, you feel like you're confused, you're crazy, um, you might have a little bit of depression or even bipolar symptoms. And because of this, you start getting anxiety, migraines, and headaches because you're trying to control the situation. When reality hits, you're not in control in this stage, so you become isolated. You don't want to be around people. Um, you, and this is where you can tend to forget exactly who you are because you start to get the influence of the outside world through the thoughts that come through your mind. And because of this, this can lead you into a deep state of disconnection with yourself. And what happens is we try to find things to mask that through certain people um, maybe it's just um, other people making you feel better. It can be through alcohol or drugs or sex or food because we're masking the situation. Um, and this also, because of our thoughts and what's being created internally, can affect our health. So we start getting health issues as well. Um, so basically, this is the alone stage and the most important to stay centered as much as you can because you can basically become lost within yourself. So the second stage was the alone stage. Mm -hmm. What would be the next stage that you are going to talk about? So the next stage would be the question stage. And this is when your questions questioning everything in your life. You start to question why you feel different. You start to question who you are, where you came from, your belief systems. Um, you question the people you're around, the universe, other life forms. It's the questioning stage. It is everything that is within your life. You just want to know answers and you're questioning. And this is also a stage where materialistic things are probably of no longer importance as they were before. So basically, really wanting to get answers. So the last stage was uh, stage number three, the question stage. Mm -hmm. What comes next? So the next stage is called the cocoon stage or the resting stage so in this you become very curious about spirituality you start to try new things maybe classes you're trying to do some inner healing work within yourself so you might go do a class in maybe self-defense or a class in, in reiki or you might even be working out more anything that has to do with internal and external healing um, you start to become interested in maybe crystals or chakras or, or meditation or going to yoga or some drumming classes as well. Or you might even have the urge to travel to a spiritual place like Sedona or any type of place that feels centered within you and very healing. Also in this stage, certain foods might start to irritate you. So you might become lactose, lactose intolerant have certain allergies to foods that you never had before, your skin starts to become more sensitive. Um, 
you might also start to see the number 1111 or 333 or double or triple digits, um, which is very common in this stage. And you might start to have prophetic dreams or visions, um, seeing, seeing or hearing things, um, wanting to also seclude yourself just to learn and be a creation within who you are. So your vibration is raising. You, you are healing within yourself and change is developing and you're becoming um, more of who you are. So you are just resting, cocooning, and going within you to learn exactly on what needs to come. So the next stage is stage number five. What stage is that? What is it about? So stage number five is probably one of the most stages that a person can stay in because it's called the stuck phase or for those of you who are twin flames it's called the running stage so in this we begin to evaluate our life so we start to understand who we are and might also understand our purpose in this lifetime um, and on a soul level you know exactly what needs to be done but and to be awakened, um, but you question it due to your ego, your ego's influence, and this all has to do with what we call fear. So this is a stage where you become stuck for a, a very long time and may never get out of it throughout this lifetime. So the ego is a big influence in this stage, and a lot of times you tend to start to get knee, feet, or hip pain or discomfort because you're not moving forward so again this is a stage that we tend to really stay in for a long time and some may never get out of it so this is called the stuck phase or stage so we are going into the last two stages mm -hmm. this stage is number six what can you say about that please okay so this stage is pretty interesting. This is called the butterfly stage. Um, and in this stage, you've actually changed your direction. So you've grown and blossomed, and now you're more content of who you are. Um, you might feel a little bit more isolated at times, but you know within your internal self that you're moving in the right path in the right direction. Um, and this is also a stage where your vibration is, is becoming on a higher level. So certain people in your life you become disconnected to because they no longer serve you. Um, that could be family members, friends, a work environment. A divorce might happen in this as well because you don't fear your direction in life anymore. So it's kind of like, see you later, hasta la vista. Um, you don't serve me anymore. Uh, this also might be a stage where you're experiencing unusual things. So this could be when you're driving and the street lights go out, maybe your phone is acting up or your computer, or you might even start to see things or feel things in this stage. So um, be aware of that in the butterfly stage, this could happen. Also, you're very connected with the earth. So anything that you see where it's not, um, feeling good inside of you as far as maybe the earth is, people are not taking care of it. There's trash or you're very connected. So you, you get irritated. You don't like seeing this misuse within the earth. Um, so that's another thing that can happen in this stage as well. And also because your vibration is heightening, things that might have affected you within your health are dissipating as well so just look for those signs as well in the butterfly stage so you have a greater of understanding of exactly who you are you are actually connected more on a higher divine light so you feel that within yourself you understand emotions better so more gratitude happiness joy and that anger and guilt and fear no longer serve you so you might start to become a teacher or a mentor or healing others as well. You feel that passion within you and you find that passion. You begin to implement that into your life as well. 
So we are finally in the last stage. Mm -hmm. Please explain us what's going on here. Okay, so the last stage is called the ascension stage. It's the remembering stage, remembering who you are. And on a soul level, an internal level, you feel very connected to everything around you, every living thing, every li living creature. You truly understand that you are your creator, your own creator of your reality, basically. A remembering of who you are. So you begin to actually live this in your life. And your intuition is not questioned. Um, it just comes to you and there's no um, analyzing or it's just instant there. So you basically live in the here and the now. You live every day to the fullness, wholeness, and you actually speak your truth now. You can open up and not feel like you're being judged. You just, it just flows through. So this is when instant manifestation can occur and you are in true alignment with your higher self. I hope you enjoyed this video about the seven stages of a spiritual awakening. To stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up.